guys welcome back to my channel I am Missy Tonya and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the wrong foundation work for you so don't throw that foundation away keep it we need it so before we get started please make sure to click subscribe down below followed by the notification bell so you can always get notified when new videos are out and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back <laughs> with no further much talking let's get straight into this video all right so proceeding we'll be going in with a face um, primer to prime the face and i'm using the blossom cosmetic face primer to prime and afterwards i'll be massa i'll be blending it out with my fingers While that is sitting on my skin, I'll be going in to apply some gloss on my lips just to keep it moisturized while we wait for it to, the primer to dry. And now I'll be going in with this foundation from Blossom Cosmetic. It is their baby skin foundation in the shade 07. And I did want to use this one just to show you that you can use however deep or however light the foundation is, you can always make it work. This is two shades darker than my skin. Can you see that? It is so dark. So I just wanted to show so you can always you can also use whatever it is you're having. Try to make it work. It's makeup, so you can always make it work, sis. See? Very dark. <laughs> so I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender to blend that into my skin. And make sure everything is well blended and I know I'm looking <laughs> funny I know <laughs> I was screaming while filming this video I'm like what are you doing <laughs> but it's makeup so we can always make it work okay so in case if you picked out the wrong foundation shade sis I got you this is what you should do so just keep on watching Okay, now to this part. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the Blossom Cosmetic Concealer in the shade 05 and 4 respectively. And I'm starting off first with the Blossom Cosmetic Concealer and I'll be applying it on these areas as you would see in the video. And I'm also using that to clean the top part of my brows. And now I'll be going in with the Ella Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn to apply at the highest un underneath the eyes just to brighten. And I'll be applying that on the bridge of my nose and doing a bit of reverse contouring down the side of my cheek just to snatch that area and help brighten. After that is applied, I'll be going in to set the face to help in the blending process. And after that is being applied, I'm going in with the Zoeva brush, foundation brush, and I'm going to start the blending process. For this step, please make sure to take your time to blend. Tap on the products, don't drag, so you can have a flawless finish. Okay? I can't keep all the footage here, so it, get, it doesn't get long and boring. So please make sure to tap the product in and not drag. Also take your time to blend. Now for the harsh lines that you will see later on that the darker foundation has created like a contour. Just let that be. We're going to focus now on blending out the concealer first that we use in highlighting first before any other step. Please, if you've got questions let, or suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. I'd love, love, love to hear from you. And also, please give me a big thumbs up. It helps me know that you like my videos. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Since I'm waiting for you, just click subscribe already, okay?
okay so as you can see now we'll be blending out the contour and I'm using the um, the beauty blender we use to blend out the foundation to blend out the areas where you have that dark foundation on and that will serve as a contour so you can see it's already working okay so I'm going to be blending 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 till I see no harsh lines on my face So onto the nose contour. For the nose contour, I'm going to be pinching the beauty blender to be able to get into those corners. And I'm going to also tap on the product. So I'll be going back in with my foundation brush to just blend out everywhere, soften out the contour lines or the contour rather. Next, I'll be going in with a black opal setting powder to set the under eye and the areas where I highlighted. And next, I'll be going in with a goth flower cosmetic powder palette to set the rest of the face and also set the contoured areas. Guys, you don't know the uh, the whole weather struggle I had getting out of this video, so that's why you see the change of outfit. I had to wait for the rain to stop, sun to come out, <laughs> but it's all good. We are here now. So I'll be setting the contoured areas with the powder, the darker shade of the powder from the Goflower Cosmetic, and I'm going to be blending that out. Now I'll be going in with my big old powder brush to just blend everything out. Okay, now for blusher, I'm going in with the Eye Beauty palette and I'm going to be applying that close to the area where I contour and also the highest point of my cheeks. So as you can see, so far so good. It's all coming together so you can make it work sis it's makeup make it work so now I'll be dusting off this excess powder underneath my eyes and I'll be going back in to set that area again just to be able to help me do my eye makeup now I'll be going in with the MAC eyebrow pencil to do my brows then I'll be cleaning underneath the brows with Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and going in with some eyeliner. So applying that concealer on my lids and setting it with Iman powder I just wanted to do like an everyday eye look <laughs> and just make the lips a bit bold so I tried to just create this everyday look I'm going in to do some liner nothing wingy nothing dramatic just a basic liner So after that, I'm going to be pressing that powder in my beauty blender before dusting that in and out. Okay. So next, I'm going in with some lashes and it was a struggle wearing these lashes. So, but we had it on. Now I'm going in to highlight my brow bone area with the Blossom Face Defining Kit. Now to set the face, I did spray the beauty blender then get to pounce that onto my skin so I have the skin like finish. Now I'll be highlighting the face and I'm using the same brush I used to apply blusher. I just, I just like doing it that way. 
Now I'll be taking off the glosses from my lips and going in with the brown, the brow pencil I use, and I'll be using that to line my lips. And I'll be going in with a classic lip gloss in the shade 08. It will be on the screen or in the description bar, so you can always check that out. And I'll be going in with a bit of concealer. Yes, you heard me. I'm going in a bit of concealer and I'll be making the look turn out nice. So guys, after <laughs> blending out the lips, this is what we're looking like right now. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'm going to see all you lovelies in my next video. Bye.